Pie Delight, composed and read by Grant McIlrath, the Meerkat Man. In the moonlight, glistening bright, snorting, snuffling, through the black velvet light. Your pied cloak of bristles rattle, you stamp your feet, gnawing, chewing nature's feast, roots, bulbs you search for and eat. Who mocks your defensive beauty now? They wear what is not theirs by right. Your ancestors have walked on this silent path generations past. Who now arrives to plunder your ancient splendor? Your own defensive measures now become human pleasures? Trinkets, necklaces, oh so grand they feel around their necks and hands, lampstands. Can they not feel your pain as your lifeblood is drained to fuel their desires to quench your rodent life fire? But what is the true cost of this pied ivory treasure? When seen in nature, it has value beyond measure, a living, protected treasure. Humans rage about you chewing on water pipes. Yes, you sometimes dig these out. Gnawing on them, it is true. If only they raise these pipes up along a fence. You could not chew on these if beyond your reach. No longer would you damage what they put there, nature and humans living together in harmony and understanding. Then perhaps they would not kill you. Then sell your defense and lay a snare. They could protect you, O oh crater plow on legs, breaking up that hardened soil so new life and water can become entrenched. Previously barren dry soil can now become drenched. You are a pioneer farmer mammal of ancient wisdom. You live in balance with life around you. But still humans mock your natural wealth. They do not use stealth. They rip and tear. They have no care but to lay their snare. Destroy your ancient earthy home. When will this madness cease? When will they begin to care? It is too late when you lie in agony in their unselective snare. Then they come to pull out, pluck you clean, what used to shimmer and gleam, a pie delight. Your quills become a perverse lust. Now your quills lie in shops to be sold. Is it now your curse, this once proud prickly cloak gathering dust? Now you are hunted day and night, do none care about your plight? Who will be your voice? Who will be your champion? You should have a choice to live in peace, to be left alone in nature's home. Humans mock your beauty when they support a demand that can't be sustained. The porcupine population is being needlessly drained until none shall remain. Who will champion your plight, precious, harmless forager of the night? Nature needs you to dig and plow, to distribute new seeds as only you know how, to maintain the balance, to live free of fright. Fifteen years or more you may live, following ancient footprints. We wish to experience your delight. Understanding that you are priceless treasure when alive and free. Nowhere are you farmed or bred for your quills, simply killed to pay the bills. We hope that those who read these verses understand. So many have no voice who live off the land. Without your support of their plight, without you saying no, they have only one place left to go. Extinction is forever darker than night. When you support unsustainable products, you end up killing the very source of the beauty that once roamed alive and free.